In this video, we're gonna install everything that we need to start working with foundation for emails. And we're gonna install Git and Node.js Node this way. We can take advantage of the server stack for foundation emails, which comes with, which comes with Gulp, Inky, HTML, SAS, Inliner, Browser Sync, and Image Compression. So well, first we're gonna install Git, and this is the website, git-scm.com. And I'm gonna make this link available in the course materials. So you only click here on Downloads for Mac. And you can see it says your download is starting, but I have to say this is never working. So I'm gonna click here in, if your download hasn't started, click here to download manually. So let's click here. And this will take, take us to the SourceForge website and the download is gonna start in just a, a little seconds. Next, we're gonna need Node.js and this is the current version, the version 5.10.1. When you install Node.js, it comes with NPM, the Node Package Manager. So maybe when you visit the site, this number is different, but you don't have to worry. The process is going to be the same. So you only click here and this will download Node.js. And when this finished downloading, we're going to install the package. So you can see everything has been downloaded and I'm gonna click here on Finder. First, we're gonna install Git, so I'm gonna double click here. And let's open the package for the installer. And you can see we have to add security permission, so I'm gonna click here on System Preference. Then we're gonna click here on Security and Privacy. And we're gonna make some changes. We need to add our password. So we open the, the package again, continue. Then click on install. And we're gonna add our password again. And Git will be really, really helpful when we are cloning the repository for foundation for emails. So I'm gonna click here on close. Next, we're gonna install Node.js and click on continue, continue again. Let's agree with the terms. Install Node.js and type the password again. And you can see that Node.js, the installation has completed successfully. So I'm gonna close this, open the terminal, I'm gonna make the text bigger, and I'm gonna add git version. And the current version is 2.6.4. So you can see that we installed correctly git. Next, I'm gonna check the version for Node. And this is the syntax, Node-B. You can see the version 5.10.1 and finally let's check the npm version the version is 3.8.3 .3. so we have successfully installed git node and npm we're gonna install now gulp and bower so you add sudo npm install globally gulp and bower this will ask us for the password so let's add the password and let's wait until it finish installing Gulp and Bower. And you can see that we have successfully installed Gulp and Bower. You can see here we have some warrants, you don't have to worry for them. So next we're gonna install the foundation CLI. I'm gonna add sudo npm install globally again foundation CLI without the spaces. So foundation CLI has been installed. Now if you type foundation, you will see this me menu. 
foundation commands new to create a new project, update to update an existing project, watch, watch a project's file for changes, build, build a project's file for production. So we're going to create our first project and we're going to add foundation new. And we're going to be working with an email. So let's select the third option. And the project is going to be called front end store. And you can see that it says, thanks for using Sur Foundation for emails. Let's set up a new project. It shouldn't take more than a minute, but I have to say this take takes more than one minute. So you don't have to, well, it's only take a little time to install everything that we need to start working. So you can see that the project has been uh, set. Everything is working correctly. You can see we have this new project folder created, not modules installed, and the board components ha has been also installed. Where? Oh, you can see that the project has been created in the users. Then in my users, you cannot open that. And the project is going to be here from the store. We can move this for desktop. And we can see it into the desktop. You can see here we have now run foundation watch while inside the front end store. So I'm going to CD to change directory in the front end store. Then we add foundation watch. And this will run the gulp task. That's why we install gulp a moment ago. So let's wait until it starts running the Gulp workflow and then we're gonna start, well, then we're gonna take a look at the project. So you can see that we, once we, or once the Gulp, Gulp workflow has been running, you have this access URLs, the local host 3000 and localhost 3001. If you want to check your project in your cell phone, you can do so by going to this URL in your phone. So you can see that this also created, created this server to, for us, for our, our project. But I think this is it for this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the files structure and everything that we have before we start writing some code to our emails.